Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're here, it probably means you're just as eager as the rest of us to hear some incredible news about Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits. And today, we're diving into exactly that. A new update is shaking the entire Social Security landscape, and it's one that could change the lives of millions across the country. Yes, you heard it right there's talk of a $2,800 monthly boost and it's finally getting the green light from the Social Security Administration. Now, before we get into the details, let me ask have you ever felt like your Social Security benefits just weren't enough to make ends meet? Be it the rising cost of healthcare, skyrocketing grocery bills, or even just the essentials like housing and utilities, many of you have expressed how tough it's been. Well, if you've been waiting for some relief, this might just be the breakthrough we've all been hoping for. Let's get into what this means. The Social Security Administration, or SSA, has been under immense pressure from advocacy groups, lawmakers, and everyday Americans to take action. For years, retirees, people living with disabilities, and low-income seniors have been calling for changes to the system. And it's not just about fairness it's about survival. There's been growing recognition that the current benefits simply aren't keeping up with inflation or the cost of living. It's been a long battle, but it seems like the voices of millions have finally been heard. This $2,800 boost represents a major step forward. This isn't just about a small adjustment or a one-time stimulus payment, this is about actual, tangible change that could provide ongoing relief. The proposed boost is part of a broader initiative to revamp social security programs, making sure that Americans who rely on SSI, SSDI, and retirement benefits actually get the support they need to live with dignity. And let's face it, isn't that the very least we all deserve? So, what does this increase mean practically? Well, for many recipients, the current benefit levels are simply not cutting it. In fact, the average monthly social security check is currently around $1,800, which, let's be honest, doesn't stretch far in today's economy. By increasing that amount to $2,000, the SSA is aiming to bridge the gap between what beneficiaries receive and what they actually need to live a comfortable, sustainable life. Think about it a $1,000 jump in benefits could mean the difference between struggling to pay your rent and finally being able to breathe easy at the end of the month. It could mean affording that medication you've been skipping or not having to choose between heating your home and putting food on the table. But how did we get here? The reality is, this move didn't come out of nowhere. It's the result of years of advocacy and research. Studies have consistently shown that Social Security and SSI recipients are some of the hardest hit by economic downturns and inflation. And while cost of living adjustments, or COLAs, are meant to help offset these challenges, they often fall short. Just take a look at last year's COLA increase it was one of the largest in decades, yet many of you have told me it barely made a dent in your actual expenses. That's because these adjustments don't always account for the real-world costs that seniors and people with disabilities face. Housing, medical expenses, groceries all of these things are rising at a pace that traditional COLA increases simply can't keep up with. This new $2,800 boost is different. It's designed to be more than just a stopgap measure. It's part of a larger effort to modernize the social security system, ensuring that it meets the needs of today's beneficiaries. And let's talk about why that's so important. For many, social security isn't just a supplement it's their primary or even sole source of income. This is especially true for seniors who didn't have access to robust retirement savings plans during their working years or for individuals with disabilities who are unable to work. Without these benefits, millions would be left to fend for themselves in an economy that's increasingly stacked against them. So, what exactly is driving this $2,800 boost? A lot of it comes down to political will and public pressure. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have been hearing from their constituents loud and clear something needs to change. There's also a growing recognition that social security is a lifeline for millions, and failing to update the system could lead to widespread hardship. In fact, some experts have even warned of a looming crisis if action isn't taken. But amidst all the debates and discussions, one thing has become crystal clear Americans are tired of waiting. They need relief, and they need it now. Let's also talk about the nuts and bolts of how this boost might work. While the specifics are still being ironed out, the idea is to provide an across-the-board increase for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients. 
This means that whether you're a retired senior, someone living with a disability, or a low-income individual relying on SSI, you could see a significant bump in your monthly benefits. And here's the kicker, it's not just a one-time increase. The goal is to make this boost a permanent part of the social security framework, ensuring that beneficiaries see real, lasting improvements in their quality of life. Of course, with any big change, there are bound to be questions and concerns. One of the biggest questions people are asking is, how will we pay for this? It's a valid concern, and it's something that lawmakers and economists are actively addressing. Some proposals suggest reallocating funds within the existing social security budget, while others call for changes to the way social security is funded like raising the income cap on payroll taxes so that higher earners contribute more. There's no doubt that funding such a significant increase will be a challenge, but many argue that it's a necessary investment in the well-being of our most vulnerable citizens. Another question on everyone's mind is, when will this happen? While the SSA has greenlit the proposal, it's important to note that these changes won't take effect overnight. There's still a legislative process to go through, and as we all know, that can take time. However, the fact that this proposal has gained so much traction is a promising sign. It shows that the wheels are finally in motion, and that's something to celebrate. Now, let's take a moment to imagine what this boost could mean for you and for millions of others. A $2,800 monthly benefit could open up so many possibilities. For some, it could mean finally being able to pay off lingering debts. For others, it could mean having a little extra to treat yourself or your loved ones, whether that's a special meal, a small vacation, or simply a gift for your grandkids. But more than anything, it could mean peace of mind. Knowing that you have enough to cover your expenses each month can make all the difference, not just financially but emotionally as well. And let's not forget the broader impact this boost could have on our economy. When people have more money in their pockets, they're more likely to spend it, which in turn helps local businesses and stimulates economic growth. It's a win-win situation, providing relief for individuals while also strengthening communities. As we wrap up, I want to emphasize how monumental this news is. The $2,800 boost is more than just a number it's a lifeline, a step toward fairness, and a recognition of the challenges that so many of you face every day. It's a reminder that your voices matter and that change is possible when we come together and demand better. And while there's still a long road ahead, this is a moment to celebrate and to hold on to hope. So, what's next? As always, I'll be keeping a close eye on this story and bringing you the latest updates as they unfold. In the meantime, I want to hear from you what would a $2,800 monthly benefit mean for you? How would it change your life? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Remember, your stories and your voices are what make this channel so special, and together, we can continue to push for the changes we all deserve. Thank you so much for watching and for being part of this incredible community. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and keep advocating for the support and dignity that every single one of you deserves. See you in the next video.